most of us out there have probably seen one of these Samsung phones out there. Now, I love Samsung. I think they have some of the best phones in the market. But honestly, some of your Samsung phones that you may have bought may have been a you know waste of money for the most part. Now, what does this mean? Well, essentially, something that Samsung does every single time they release a new device is they go ahead and drop, you know, let's say a Galaxy S22 and S21 or a Galaxy S20. They drop such generous resale and trade-in values that it's actually pretty insane that they're even doing that. They've done this time and time again. And to be honest, if you're planning on buying a brand new phone, even if you're planning on buying a brand new Samsung Galaxy, Galaxy right now, if you're able to hold off and wait and or if you're able to purchase a used Samsung phone, and that is going to help you out in so many different ways. To give you some perspective, the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 just ended up coming out and Samsung, if you had the Z Flip 3, they were giving, I think it was like $150 difference. So you would get like, if the phone was $1,000, you would get $850 in you know, trade in credit and you could just upgrade for like a hundred and something dollars. Now that was for that latest and greatest at that moment. But even if you had an older generation, that is another great thing you can do. In my opinion, buying a brand new Samsung Galaxy phone is probably one of the best things you can do if the trade-in value is still there. However, as of right now, big news, Samsung has now pretty much taken away that specific trade-in value for the Z Flip and Z Fold 4. So one thing I would definitely tell you is if you're somebody who owns a Samsung Galaxy phone or you're planning on buying a Samsung Galaxy phone, I would highly, highly recommend buying a used Samsung Galaxy. This will help you out in two different ways. One, you can save a lot of money right now. I mean, to give you some perspective, the Galaxy S22, you could probably buy it in the used market for probably less, I would say around $600, but we'll go and take a look on eBay. So if we go and look into eBay, you can see Galaxy S22, here's one for $549. We can just keep scrolling. Of course, there's going to be some for a lot. $500 starting off here for a Galaxy S22. And, you know, definitely for the S22 Ultra, it's going to be expensive. But I will definitely tell you, you can probably find an S22 for much cheaper than you would ever expect. Now, why is this important? Well, like I mentioned, the trade-in value from Samsung's are crazy. If you were able to buy a Samsung Galaxy S22 right now for about $500, maybe, just maybe, when the S23s come out, not only will you save a bunch of money right now, but when the S23s come out, and let's say you want to buy one brand new, you can probably end up trading in your S22 straight into Samsung if they continue down this trend for probably $500, $600, maybe, you know, give or take. And you could probably spend only maybe $200 or something to go and upgrade from a Galaxy S22 to a Galaxy S23. Now, that is insane. So in my opinion, I would probably recommend avoid buying a you know, brand new Galaxy right now if there's no trade-in values. But if there is a trade-in value, then that is a great time to go ahead and purchase a brand new Samsung phone. But in the times like these where you know there's no trade-in value for the most part, this is a perfect time to buy a used Samsung Galaxy, one of the latest ones, one of the newer ones. And that way you can go and trade it in when the you know, time comes for a trade-in value and you can gain even more from a trade-in. So. So it kind of works like both ways. You save money when you trade it in and you make money when you trade it in. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.